guys, welcome back to my channel. We did it. I have officially been on the WW plan for just over two years and I've been sharing my health and weight loss journey here on YouTube for just over one year. Today, I'm gonna be taking you guys with as we look back across my journey to see the progress as well as share my one year update with my weight measurements and side-by-side -side pictures. I also have a really big and exciting announcement to share with you guys. Let's get started and take a look back where my whole journey on YouTube YouTube began. I did start with the WW plan a year before I started my YouTube journey and I lost about 30 pounds, but we all went through, I think, a lot of difficult times in the last couple of years and my weight loss and following the WW plan hiatus. I was able to maintain that weight loss, which was a huge step for me, but I decided last fall I really needed to reboot my weight loss journey and I found the motivation and encouragement to do that here on my YouTube channel. So before we jump back, I just wanna really thank you guys for all of the help and encouragement and accountability this channel has given me. It has truly been a driving force to get me to my goals. So here's where it all began. I am at this point four days late, still says not pregnant. No, not even a hint of a second line, still not pregnant. You know, me and my doctor and what we talked about with my pregnancy journey. It's it's what do I want for my next experience? I said, I want to be healthy for my family. I want to be active and play and explore the world with my kids. I want to be proud of my pregnancy journey. I don't want to hide details from friends and family this time. I didn't want the shame thinking you did this to yourself with your with your weight. I want to celebrate the growth of our family next time. I didn't do maternity photos. I didn't buy a lot of cute maternity clothes because I couldn't find them in my size. I felt ashamed of my pregnancy body because I was worried that people wouldn't think that I looked pregnant. I want us to celebrate these years with our young family and enjoy them because life's too short and your kids are only young for so long. And I don't want to not be in pictures because I'm embarrassed of how I look. I don't want to not do activities or go places because I'm afraid of how I'll feel sitting on an airplane seat that feels tight or an attraction ride that I'm worried about not getting the buckle across on. I don't want to have it run in the back of my mind. Is there a weight limit? Whether it's zip lining or a piece of furniture we're buying. I don't want these things to rule my mind and my world anymore. I want this channel to be here as I progress towards my goals. This is not going to be an easy video. Today I am sharing all of my starting stats. So my weight, my measurements, my pictures. Today's also our first day back starting on Weight Watchers. Never up, never down, never like a theme in a song. Last September, I hit my highest weight ever at 365 pounds. I knew I had to do something to change. I started going to the gym and it was the first time I tried out a Weight Watchers program. I'm happy to say I was able to lose about 30 pounds during that time. And then I hit a hiatus in March when all of the world <laughs> hit a hiatus. And I am proud though that I was able to maintain my weight loss. And then near the end of this summer, I lost another 10 pounds by getting back and being active. However, now I am ready to truly start a revamp of my weight loss journey. My current weight is 325 pounds. 325 pounds, 0.5 ounces. I think that might be the first time I've ever I've ever said my weight like out loud and I've already lost 40 in the last year and had a period of time where I plateaued but I kept it off since last March and have even gone a little bit farther now so I believe in myself I've been able to do it I can keep doing it we're rebooting the weight loss journey it's 
kicking back into action and we're gonna do it this time. We're gonna do it. I think having a why when you set important and big goals, like trying to lose 150 pounds, the why is everything. My top five reasons on why I am trying to lose weight. I want to improve my health and live a long, happy, healthy life with my family. I don't want to overthink everything I put in my mouth for the rest of my life. I have been struggling with weight loss and my body image since I was like 10 years old. That's the first time I remember thinking something was different about me. I was heavier than the other kids. You know, I felt like I was treated a little bit differently. And ever since then, when I go to eat anything from a meal or a snack or a drink, I have a subconscious thought about what I'm putting in my mouth and judging it before I eat it. I want to go shopping with my mom and my sister, but I don't go shopping with them. I go with them while they go shopping. We go into store after store after store and their sizes are always there in stock and carried. I'm over here, the three X girl saying, there's nothing in this store my size, but that'll look cute on you. It's so awkward to then go into a plus size store and they have nothing in their size. And then all the focus is on you like, try this, try this, try this. You're either left out completely or all of the attention is on you. And it can't just be a communal thing where we're just shopping together. I want to be in the memories that my family is making. I am so self-conscious all the time whenever we're taking photos. Like I'm not in many photos from Lila's life from age newborn to two and a half. I need to make this a priority or I'm not gonna be in any photos from when our daughter's little. And the biggest reason of why I want to lose the weight, we want to grow our family. We want another baby. My November 1st weigh-in. My current weight as of November 1st, 2020 is 320.5 pounds. That means I've lost one and a half pounds in the last week. I've lost five pounds total this month and total since the beginning of my weight loss journey, 45 pounds. A big non-scale victory for me. There's a chair in my daughter's room. It's like an oversized, um, like comfy chair with an ottoman. I have never been able to sit with her side by side. Now, even though she's bigger, she's almost three, I have lost weight. She has gotten bigger. We can both sit side by side in the chair. It's something visually like I can sit with you in this chair. January 2nd, 2021, I am three months into my rebooted weight loss journey and I'm weighing in at 309.2 pounds. That means I had a monthly loss of 4.7 pounds and a total loss of 55.8 pounds since the beginning of my WW weight loss journey. When I started this journey, I was wearing a size 26 clothing and now I just bought these new shorts. I am now about a size 20. I have gone down at least three clothing sizes. And look at my butt. I got a little bit of a butt. Boop, boop, boop. I've never had a butt. <laughs> this morning I weighed in and I came in at 303.2 pounds. So I am exactly six pounds down from where I started the month. I've been losing between four and six pounds every month since October. And similarly, I've been losing between five and eight inches every month. So I feel like I'm being really consistent. I'm having consistent, steady, slow weight loss, but it's adding up to a lot. Fitness Focus February. This is day three of my Working Up for 30 Day Straight Challenge. I mean, it was fun. It was really, really fun. Cardio things always scare me. I've always hated cardio. I hate running. Running was always like, no, never, if I could have any other option. And I don't think you need to go running to lose weight. I can lose weight by walking and doing other things. I'm glad that I'm opening my mind to trying other things though, because you never know what hidden talents you have or what you'll actually like once you try it. Let's do this. My previous weight was 303 pounds. Ah! <laughs> we did it. <laughs> we can do it.
Oh, these are happy tears. When you begin, you feel the physical, mental, and emotional weight of all that you have to lose. And slowly, I'm starting to feel lighter and happier. I have not bought pants with a button, <laughs> jeans of any sort in over two years. And the last time I did, I had just gone through all of my clothes. I had just about hit my, my peak highest weight. I think I was a little under still yet. Um, it was right when I turned 30. I will be 32 in a few weeks. I had just gotten rid of all of my clothes that were too small and didn't fit. I went to Lane Bryant and I tried on the size I had previously bought and those didn't fit. And then I tried on the next size up and those didn't fit either. And then I was like, maybe it's the cut, right? So I tried a different cut. No, those definitely didn't fit. I ended up buying a size 24. I was like a 24, almost 26. I think I was a 26 officially at my highest weight, but at that point I had stopped wearing those jeans because they felt too small already. And that was only like a month or two later. So I have not bought jeans in two years. The last time I did, it was like a size 24 or 26 from Lane Bryant. And today I am under 300 pounds. I have lost over 70 pounds and y'all, I'm getting treated to a new pair of jeans. Let's go shopping and buy some new jeans. I don't think I've ever been excited about saying that before. <laughs> I'm somewhere in the middle Try to find myself again But life is one big riddle All the future and what's been Guess it's the way it goes And I will never know Why you let me go Look to the left, look to the right Nothing can stop me in the night Like I am leaving all the bad stuff And trying to remain so strong I know it's good if I'm on I got it, I got it So I used a quarter of an avocado, so you're gonna add that many points. Barbecue chicken chopped salads. And here's everything we're gonna need for our Greek Buddha bowls. I'm somewhere in the middle, try to find myself again. But life is one big riddle, all the future and what's been.
Cause it's the way it goes And I will never know Why you let me go Look to the left, look to the right Nothing can stop me in the night Like I am leaving all the bad stuff And trying to remain so strong I know it's good if I'm wrong I got it, I got it I weighed in at 293.2 pounds. So I'm up one pound since the beginning of July, but I'm up about four pounds since my June weight. The last few months have been a struggle. Summer is so crazy. We've had family and friends visits, holidays, travel, weddings. As a family, we've been busy and my weight loss has fallen from my priorities. Something I do when I feel off track is revisit my whys. Why do I want to lose weight? This time, it's more than just wanting to fit in cute clothes and think that I look good. I want to feel good. I want to be healthy and know I'm going to be around a long time for my family. I want to have another baby, and I would love to take the initiative to start that process as a healthier woman, to hopefully avoid some of the traumatic situations I went through in my first pregnancy when I was over 350 pounds. I know that a weight loss journey is just that. It's a journey. I'm going to be up and down, but we are making our way towards those goals. It is the goal of the day to walk 10,000 steps today. Ten thousand and three, day two. Heading out on my walk. I'm starting at five thousand eight twenty-seven. Let's see how far I can get. Day five, guys. Do I get extra steps for having to hold on to this one while we walk? Day ten. Day ten. Day twelve. I'm really have been very happy with our nightly walk. Day 15. Day 18. Get it. Day 19. Day 23. Almost there. We did it. Day 30. Here are my results from my 30 day challenge of walking 10,000 steps a day. So on September 1st, I weighed in at 287.2 pounds. That is six pounds down from my August 1st weigh in. So I've seen a move on the scale. I've seen some movement in measurements. My clothes are fitting differently. I feel like I finally pushed that stall in my weight loss journey. I have focused a lot on my food the first half of my journey. I do the WW program. This last month I've been doing the green plan, but every month I focus on my fitness and really make it a priority to start working out more, to start doing weightlifting or walking or whatever the challenge has been. Those are the months I see the biggest change on the scale. So. We've hit that point in the journey, guys. I need to start doing a lot more in regards to fitness. I'm so proud of my progress I've seen so far. These pictures are such a great reminder to me whether I've had a two pound loss for the month or a six to eight pound loss for the month. I am having a loss and I'm making progress. It's slow, it's steady, and I'm working my way to being happier and healthier. You guys, it is both so hard to watch some of that footage back, but also so joyful. I. I'm so proud of where I've gotten to on my journey so far. I'm always telling you guys, slow and steady wins the race. And it's taken me a long time to really believe that myself. But losing a half a pound, one pound a week, maybe four or five pounds a month, 
but taking those measurements and seeing those side-by-side -side pictures, it's been everything. It's been everything to keep me motivated and going. And even though it's taken time, it's not a diet, it's not a quick fix, it's become a new healthy lifestyle that I'm living, but I'm growing so much, not only in my weight loss goals, but as a person. My confidence, my happiness, all of them have just skyrocketed in the last year. I feel like a completely different person. At my highest weight, I was battling depression, and loneliness and struggling with a lifelong bad relationship with food and eating and using food to comfort myself. I've grown so much, but I know this is just another chapter of a lifelong journey with my health. So you guys saw a little recap of my September 1st weigh-in. October 1st, I didn't really share that weigh-in on my channel because if you guys have been following along my channel September, my family was sick. We were just like down for the count almost all month. I didn't do a lot of filming that month, but I did weigh in at the end of the month and I lost another two pounds. Two pounds doesn't sound like a lot for the month, but you guys losing two more pounds brought me down to 285 pounds. That means in the last two years, I have officially lost 80 pounds on my health and wellness journey. So my first weigh-in of October 2020, I weighed in at 325 pounds. October of 2021, I weighed in at 285 pounds, which is a 40 pound weight loss for the year. I've gone from a size 22 at the beginning of last year to a size 16, 18. And now for my measurements. You guys, I knew I was losing inches month to month, but this is the first time I sat down and calculated everything out to see my total inches lost over certain areas of my body. And I am, I'm blown away. This is why it's so, so important. And I highly encourage anyone who is trying to track their health or weight loss to take pictures and to take measurements because your body is not just the number on the scale. There's so much more to your body composition than that. In the last 12 months, I have lost seven inches in my bust eight and a half inches at my natural waist, nine inches at my fullest part of my waist, nine inches on my hips, three inches in each thigh, one inch in each of my calves, one and a half inches in each of my biceps, and one and a half inches in my neck. That's a total of 46 inches across my entire body. That's almost four feet of my body gone. And that's just from those 40 pounds I've lost in the last year. I really wish I would have started taking pictures and measurements when I initially started my weight loss journey in September of 2019 when I started at 365 pounds. I can only imagine the additional pounds and inches I've lost added to my total. I feel like I look like a completely different person. I'm starting to look and feel like myself again. So where does that leave me moving forward? Like I said, this health journey isn't done. I have seen a shift in my mindset and focus, which I think has really helped me to keep going and keep motivated on this journey. When I started my YouTube journey, it was truly to find others to relate to who were going on this weight loss expedition together. I wanted to find a community, accountability, and motivation from others to help me reach my specific weight loss goals. But I've definitely started seeing this journey as more of a health and wellness journey. I'm finding ways to live a healthy, balanced lifestyle where I don't feel like I'm on a diet 24 seven for the rest of my life. Living a life of healthy balance with health goals to me is about more than just the number on the scale. No longer just focusing on my weight, that will still be a focus and goal of mine though, but also looking at an overall healthy lifestyle. Thank you all so much for sharing my journey, for giving me support, accountability, and encouragement. In the recap, I shared my top five reasons of why I started this weight loss journey with you guys. I'm so proud to say I've already met so many of them. I have flown multiple times on a plane in the last few months, and I have never once worried about not fitting in a plane seat. I've been able to successfully buckle and have left over extra strap to pull tight, not needing a seatbelt extender. We took our daughter on her very first Disney World trip and I had no worries about weight limits or not fitting on the ride seats. The last time I went home to visit my family last spring around Easter, my mom and I got a chance to go shopping together 
and we shopped together in the same stores. I feel like my confidence has just skyrocketed and I really feel comfortable getting involved in those family moments and making memories. I've reached so many goals in the last year. 40 pounds at first doesn't seem like that much, but when you look at all that I've accomplished along with it, with measurements and pictures and my non-scale victory goals, I couldn't be more proud of where I am now. We've actually reached one more goal from my reasons of why I started my weight loss journey. But I get up, I always do, I never think.